here we start the exercise 4 which is starting from your page number 165 from the section B there are some calculations so here in this chapter we are starting from the section B for a company making a pipe the following information of diameter in centimeter of pipe is obtained find the range of the diameter of the pipes and here the information is given in continuous frequency distribution and for the range we need the highest observation and the lowest observation so out of this we'll just keep the value in the formula that is 120 minus 20 will remain 100 centimeter next question number seven the 25th and 75th a percentile of a frequency distribution are 72.18 and 103.99 respectively find the quartile deviation now out of this percentile here the question is asking to find out quartile deviation hope you remember the explanation which has been given in the last chapter that out of the 1 to 100 percentage 50 percentage is our q2 and 25 percent is our quartile 1 and 75 percent is our quartile 3 so out of this here we, the information of 25th percentile and 75th percentile is 72.18 that is for the 25th percentile that would be our first quartile and for the third quartile that is 75th percentile will be 103.99 so here we get the value and the formula to find out quartile deviation just keep the information 103.99 minus for quartile 1 72.80 divide by 2 get them subtract you will get 31.81 divide by 2 and the answer is 15.905 so it would be 15.91 next question number 9 Find the mean deviation for the observation minus 104. Remember to arrange in the ascending order, but it's already given in the ascending order. So minus 1, 0, 4. Here the total of this, like minus 1 get minus with 4, you will get the sigma x 3. So mean is 1. x minus x bar means minus 1 get minus with 1. So here it would be minus minus will turn into plus and it would be 2. 1 minus 0 remain 1. Then 4 minus 1 it would be 3. So 2 plus 1 plus 3 here we get the total 6. On this base here we will find out the mean deviation that is sigma absolute bracket divide by n here i'll directly keep the absolute bracket uh, and as we didn't get the any answer in minus 6 divide by n that is 3 and here the answer is 2 the mean deviation is 2 moving to the next section c section c starts from your page number 166 here i already wrote the question in the book the fifth question is find the range and the coefficient of range for the observation 6, 11, minus 3, 0, 8. Now here we are going to find out the range. Now to find out the range here we need is the highest observation and the lowest observation. So let's take the information in the formula. Range is equal to highest observation minus lowest highest is 11 and the lowest is minus 3 so here minus minus will turn into plus 3 and the answer will be 40 and also the question is asking about the coefficient of range and here the formula highest observation minus lowest again highest plus lowest so 11 minus 3 and here comes 11 plus minus 3 
so here though we get the answer directly we can keep 14 here plus minus will remain as a minus and 11 plus 3 will get the answer 11 plus minus 3 here we get the answer 8 and out of this calculation we will get 1.75 coefficient of range next question number 6 find the coefficient of quartile deviation from the observation now for the quartile deviation the information is given in raw data so here we will find out first quartile that is the value of n plus 1 divided by fourth observation so value of n that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 plus 1 divided by fourth observation here we forgot to arrange so first of all arrange into the ascending order 2 3 5 8 11 15 20 remember to count that you have the all the numbers or you missed out 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so here we kept all the numbers 7 plus 1 here we get the value of 8 upon fourth observation that is 4 ones are 4 twos are so here we'll write down the value of second observation first second that is 3 here we get the q1 3 and here we will also find out q3 that is the value of j n plus 1 divided by fourth observation here our j will be 3 and n is 7 plus 1 divided by fourth observation that is 8 upon fourth observation that is 4 ones are 4 twos are so 3 twos are sixth observation 1 2 3 4 5 6 that is 15 so here we find out third quartile 15 on this page here we will find out coefficient of quartile deviation first we will find out quartile deviation that is q3 minus q1 divide by 2 if we put the value of q3 is 15 minus q13 divide by 2 you will get 12 divide by 2 the answer is 6 but in the question quartile deviation is not asked in the question it asks about the coefficient of quartile deviation so let's keep the value back again in the q3 we found 15 and for q1 we found 3 15 plus 3 and the subtracting will get 12 and this will be 12 upon 18 and here we get the answer 0 0.67 next seven question find the mean deviation for the observation here is the inform observation is written so first of all here we will find out the x by keeping the value 3 8 1 7 6 and the total of this that is sigma x here we found 25 so first we'll find out mean by keeping sigma x upon n 25 divided by number of observation 1 2 3 4 5 that is 5 the next column we'll find out is x minus x bar and x bar is 5 3 minus 5 will get 2 8 minus 5 3 1 minus 5 4 7 minus 5 2 6 minus 5 1 Keep it into the absolute part bracket so I didn't keep any sign over here and the total of this here we get 12 so the next we'll find out is mean deviation where the formula will be Sigma X minus X bar in the absolute bracket upon n the value we found is 12 and the n is 5 now out of this calculation we'll get 2.4 mean deviation eighth question if x bar mean that is 25 and coefficient of variance is 20 percent find the variance so to find out the variance here we kept the value which is given in the question coefficient of variation and mean agar ye dono cheeze di hai to obviously ye formula mein jayega ye sari information so sabse pehle coefficient of variance 
variation 20 standard deviation is not given mean is given 25 into 100 now let's take 20 take the number above that is 25 is equal to s into 100 20 into 25 that is 500 is equal to 100 s 500 divide by 100 keep the standard deviation as it is get them minus here you will get the standard deviation 5 the basis of variation here we are going to find out variance that is variance is s square so it would be 5 5 are 25 that's what the value of variance remember standard deviation as hota hai or variance as square question number 9 from the section c find the standard deviation for the observation 1 2 3 4 5 so take this is the raw data take the raw data into the x column get the total of it that is sigma x will become 15 and out of this we'll find out the mean 15 divided by number of observation 5 here we get the answer mean 3 now x minus mean 3 here we get the answer minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 as the question is asking about to find out standard deviation and the formula is x minus x bar whole square so is column ka square banayenge that is 2 2 are 4 and minus minus will turn into plus 1 1 are 1 0 1 4 and the total of this column here we get 10 now keep into the formula 10 divided by 5 that is 2 and the root of 2 you will get 1.42 question number 10 find the following factories is more stable with the respect to daily production here you can see the average daily product that is mean is given and the standard deviation is given and when the two observation observation is given out of this here we always ask to find out coefficient of variance so for this keep the formula sub on mean into 100 so here the value of standard deviation is 10 mean is 50 into 100 here we get the answer get them divide and then multiply by 100 you will get 20 percent same will do for the factory b coefficient of variance as upon mean into 100 standard deviation is 12 mean is 48 into 100 get them divide and then multiply by 100 here you will get 25 percent where we can see the coefficient of variance of factory a is less than the comparatively from uh, factory b now the last question from this section c again the question is with percentile which has been given in the section b the same similar one 25th and the 75th percentile of data set are 20 and 36 respectively find the coefficient of quartile deviation now directly here there has been asked coefficient of quartile deviation 25th percentile that will be a q1 and uh, 75th percentile that will be a q3 so out of which here we can keep directly the formula uh, first we'll find out coefficient of quartile deviation q3 minus q1 divided by q3 plus q1 q3 value is 36 minus q1 is 20 upon 36 plus 20 if you get them minus you will get 16 and if you add this to you will get 56 and out of this calculation you will get the answer 0 0.29 because the next number is 5 eight digit aage bad gaya so here we complete section c moving to the next section d